I need to find a great gluten-free flatbread. This is where my journey begins. So on a gluten-free diet, finding a flatbread that works that's also gluten-free is very difficult. There's so many different recipes out there and it's so hard to tell to navigate what works best. Well, I'm going to go through and do several different recipes in my series. This is part one, so I'm going to try one recipe today, break it down, tell you what I think. I'm looking for something that has a bit of structure, but also pliability, something I can roll, make into kind of like a burrito and eat like that as like a quick gyro, but also that I can use as a flatbread for something like bruschetta or go ahead and make a pizza. I need something that's versatile, flexible, chewy, but also tastes great. And most importantly, is it dry? So the first recipe I'm trying today is a very trendy five ingredient, gluten-free, dairy-free flatbread recipe. It's gonna have gluten-free flour, of course, olive oil, vegan yogurt, baking powder, and salt, five ingredients. In a bowl, I'm gonna put two and a quarter cups of gluten-free flour, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, which is going to leaven it and make some bubbles and hopefully give some separation and lightness. Mix everything together so that baking powder and salt is incorporated with the flour. Next, I'm going to add in one cup of coconut yogurt along with one tablespoon of olive oil. I'm going to mix everything together with a spoon until it forms a shaggy mass and I'm going to switch over to my hand and make it a nice smooth ball. This dough actually comes together really quickly and is really easy to make which is a big perk. I'm gonna divide the dough ball into eight smaller dough portions, roll into balls. Now there's two methods that I find that's probably the best for rolling out a flatbread, especially for a gluten-free flatbread. The two sheets of parchment paper dusted with gluten-free flour and a rolling pin to roll it out. Now it works pretty good, but maybe, just maybe, this other method is gonna work even better. And the second method really isn't rolling, it's more about smushing. What am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about using a tortilla press. I find the best way to smush out tortillas is to use a Ziploc bag. I'm going to cut off the top zip part of the Ziploc bag and cut the sides. So I have a piece of plastic that folds back and forth like so. You put the dough in between the two pieces of plastic, fold it over top, and then with the tortilla press, smush the dough down. You can adjust the thickness of the flatbread just by adjusting the pressure that you put on the tortilla press. Now I figure the best way to cook is in a cast iron skillet. I feel like it's going to get pretty smoky, so I'm going to do this outside on the barbecue side burner. I'm going to let it heat up till it's super hot. I'm going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil and turn out one of my discs of gluten-free flatbread. It's going to take about a minute, minute and a half to cook on one side. You are going to notice when it starts to bubble up on the sides. Flip it over and cook on the other side for about a minute and a half to two minutes. You're gonna notice a nice golden brown on top with a little bit of char. That's perfect, that's exactly what we want. I'm gonna put in a tea towel to stay nice and warm and repeat the process with the rest of the flatbreads. These flatbread recipes, I'm gonna do the same meal every single time so I have a controlled study on the texture, maybe the structure of the flatbread and to see if it gets the desired consistency that I want. With a little bit of garlic mayonnaise, if you wanna see my garlic mayo recipe, you can click on this link right up here. Then I'm going to add a little bit of broccoli microgreens, green onions, tomatoes, cucumbers, and a little bit of grilled chicken. That's it. A nice, simple, quick, fast lunch on the go. But how does this flatbread hold up? What's the general consensus of it? Well, it's a bit pliable, but you can definitely tell when I go to roll this, especially when it's warm, when it should be the most flexible and versatile to use, it starts to crack and fall apart. It's a very short crust. I need something with a little bit more structure and holds together a bit better. It looks like a flatbread. It smells great, but the dough itself, it, it's really chewy, but it's dry. Really dry, not fluffy at all. Like it might be good with like a hummus or something, a little bit of bread if you want. But as far as it goes for making a pizza or even to roll up for a gyro, it just doesn't cut it. But worry not, I have a couple more gluten-free flatbread recipes that I want to try. It'll be in my next videos. If you like this video, please go ahead and smash that like button. I greatly appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one.